in this video we will know about electromagnetic induction and the methods of inducing electric current in a conductor a current carrying conductor behaves like a magnet was first observed by hans christian oersted in the year 1820 according to oersted's observation when electric current was made to pass through a conductor it could deflect a compass needle its meaning is electric current in the conductor created a magnetic field around it that means electric current can produce magnetic field but is the reverse also possible can a magnetic field of a magnet induce or produce electric current in a conductor yes it is possible a magnetic field also can produce electric current in a conductor and that was observed by Michael Faraday in the year 1831 Michael Faraday did a series of experiments to explore this result and he found that as long as a coil cuts or disturbs the field of a magnet electric current is produced in it this phenomena was electromagnetic induction Michael Faraday connected a coil of a conductor to a galvanometer galvanometer is a device that can sense the slightest generation of electric current in the coil when a magnet was placed stationary near this coil there was no deflection in the galvanometer but when the magnet was taken towards it the galvanometer showed one direction deflection and when the magnet was receded or taken in the opposite direction the galvanometer showed the reverse direction deflection that means as long as the magnet was moved that means taken towards or taken away moved near a conductor or a coil of conductor the galvanometer showed alternate or opposite sides deflection indicating the generation of alternating current in the conductor the same experiment michael faraday performed by taking the opposite pole of the magnet and also by moving the coil near a magnet and in all the cases faraday found that if a magnet is moved near a coil or a coil is moved near a magnet as long as the coil cuts or it disturbs the field of a magnet due to relative motion between a magnet and a coil induced current will be produced in the conductor and the generation of induced current in the coil can be identified by the either side's deflection of the galvanometer this phenomena is called electromagnetic induction that means electric current induce electric current is induced by magnetic field electromagnetic induction phenomena was proposed by michael faraday in the year 1831 it is a phenomena of inducing electric current in a conductor by disturbing the field of a magnet or by putting the conductor in a disturbed magnetic field so there are two methods either the coil has to directly cut the field lines of a magnet or <clears throat> the coil or the conductor has to be just placed in a disturbed magnetic field there are two methods of inducing electric current in a conductor one is with a relative motion between a conductor and a magnet by relative motion between conductor and magnet induced current can be produced <clears throat> or without relative motion between the conductor and magnet then also induced current can be produced the first case when we talk about by relative motion or with relative motion the first to two diagrams are when the magnet is taken towards or taken away or magnet is kept stationary and the coil is taken towards or coil is taken away in both the cases induced current is generated or produced in the coil and generation of induced current is identified by the either side's deflection of the galvanometer 
and in the third diagram where the magnet is just held stationary near a coil or inside the coil if a magnet and coil are not in a relative motion with each other there will be no induced current in the coil without relative motion between the magnet and the coil induced current can still be produced for that purpose one has to take a hollow cardboard cylinder or wooden cylinder and on that there should be two sets of copper insulated copper wire windings just like a solenoid one of the copper winding must be connected to a source across a plug key here i have shown a tapping key and another is connected to the galvanometer the coil or the solenoid that is connected to a source means a cell or a battery will be called as a primary coil and that will behave like a magnet because when the circuit is closed the current carrying solenoid will behave like a magnet the coil that is connected to the galvanometer will be the coil in which induced current is produced here there are two ways of producing or inducing current in secondary coil one is by switching on off means tapping and releasing tapping and releasing we will open the circuit and close the circuit in that process and when the circuit is closed a magnetic field is just produced and when the circuit is open the magnetic field recedes and in this process of switching on and off the primary coil current in the primary coil magnetic field is thrown and taken back so a disturbed magnetic field is created and in this disturbed magnetic field the secondary coil is just placed in this disturbed magnetic field the secondary coil gets induced electric current this is one method another method is by closing the circuit or keeping the circuit closed the primary coil circuit closed and by varying resistance in the rheostat the magnitude of current in the primary coil can be increased or decreased when current is increased the strength of magnetic field due to primary coil will be more when current is a decreased the strength of magnetic field due to the primary coil will be less so we are creating a disturbed magnetic field around the primary coil and in this disturbed magnetic field any conductor that is placed in this case secondary coil or conductor is placed so induced current will be produced in the secondary coil so these are the two ways either set the coil and magnet in relative motion and when the coil cuts or disturbs the field of a magnet induced current is produced in the coil if not by creating a disturbed magnetic field and in the disturbed magnetic field if the conductor or coil is just placed then also induced current is produced so this phenomena of generating electric current by disturbing the field of a magnet or by cutting the lines of forces of a magnet by a conductor is called electromagnetic induction and this was found by michael faraday